Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield where we have currently set up camp outside of Moda Stoke so that we can give all of our Pokemon a chance to stretch their legs after the devastatingly difficult battle they had last night. We almost ended up losing to that Marnie girl who everybody in Team Yell has been so excited about. But Dree, you did it! You did it! You did it, Dree! Just when we were worried that we were going to fail, you actually... That's right, you showed your stuff. Oh, and there we go, and there's our other big surprise that I actually need to show you guys too. He snuck over before we were quite ready because I think he wanted to come play with Dree. Dree uses his tongue to play with this toy. How adorable is that? But Dree did a great job last night in his battle against Marnie and he actually realized that he will never regret having tried to become stronger. Whether that is emotionally through trying to take good care of his friends or if that's supposed to be physically through training his body and really understanding how to be healthy and happy to himself. Whether that's standing up for the people that he really feels uh, need help. Or if that's just being bold and adventurous and willing to go exploring, he'll never regret trying to become stronger, whatever that version of stronger means for himself. And just in time too, because Dree, you are now a, well actually you're now a big brother again. Mm -hmm. Because we have, come here, come here little one. All right, let me go ahead and put this away. Come on, come on over, come on. We have a Grookey! <laughs> And you may be wondering, who the heck is this Grookey? You guys, this is actually Big Mike! Meet Big Mike! And yes, his name really is Big Mike, which I think is adorable. <gasps> oh, he's trying to hit it with his little stick! But this is Big Mike, and he is actually my beloved Chips's Grookey. A young little Grookey who Chips doesn't have time to tend to just now. So he has allowed me to go ahead and start babysitting him! which is so freaking cute. So Chips is the love of my life, my best friend, and now my fiance. In a few months here, you guys will hear me say my husband, which is, whoa, that's kind of amazing. There we go. But he got Grookey and he has actually fallen so in love with his turtle that he doesn't have room on his team for our little Grookey. So I offered to take Grookey in and take care of him for a little bit. And so now we're gonna watch over him. And he is quite the freaking handful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he is very, very much in a good mood. He seems to be having a really great time. He's curious about us. He wants to go play. Oh my gosh, he's precious. And how do you think about this, Dree? <gasps> Dree looks like it wants to play a lot. All right, Dree. Why don't you go ahead? Dree seems worried about his surroundings. I think Dree feels really overwhelmed with having to watch after like this very rash little Grookey. And we'll learn more about what a handful Big Mike is in just a minute here. Let's go ahead and actually cook up some delicious curry. I have no idea what we happen to have on us. We have some bread. I, don't, I have like hardly any ingredients. Maybe that's why we should actually end up going out to um, the wilds just so I could collect ingredients. Let's just go like whole hog on a cherry curry and see what happens. Yes, I want to see what happens if we make just a complete cherry curry. We have to welcome Big Mike to the family after all. And a little bit of toast, because I love toast. All right, come on, flames. Come on. Come on. That's right, get up here, get up here. Come on. All right, come on. I think I just really need to go as hard as I can. There, 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 there. We seem to be getting, yay! All right, and then just a good solid stirring. Not too much, but not too little. That's looking really good, looking really good. We're gonna make our curry. Welcome Big Mike, he's so cute. I can't believe Chips named him Big Mike. I laughed so hard when he did that. And, oh, I hope that got some of the good stuff in there. Let's see what kind of awesome curry we made for our Pokemon. I'm so excited to have a Grookey too. <laughs> Especially because this guy, spicy toast curry. This guy seems to be really adorable. Let's see if he likes our spicy toast curry. <gasps> Look at his little face. Yay, it's good. There you go, Grookey. 
Welcome to the family. Still a Wobbuffet class. I'll get there eventually. And they've gained some experience points. And Big Mike and the rest of your party got friendlier towards us. Yay! All right. Well, let's go ahead and pack down. Pack up camp. And they gained some experience points from playing. Yay! Big Mike, like, leveled up just from playing already. That's so cool. And let's take a good look at him. <laughs> I'm so excited we get to take care of him. Hopefully when he gets a little bigger, we can leave him at the nurse or we can leave him at the Pokemon daycare with a ditto, which I need to find a good ditto or just somebody a, a ditto would be best, but somebody so we could try to see, you know, exactly how many Grookey we could have on our own because when I checked out the summary of Grookey, I freaking fell in love with him. He has a ability, an innate ability called Overgrow, which will power up any grass type moves. And what grass type move does he have? You guys, Branch Poke, which is so freaking adorable. The user attacks the target by poking it with a sharply pointed branch. And when I saw that, I knew I was in love. And this particular Grookey is quite the handful because he is rash and highly persistent. And so he is going to uh, have to go ahead and take good care. He's gonna have to be taken good care of because I think he's just running around. I think he's crashing into things. I think he's like banging his little stick on Dree's pot. And I think, or Dree's little bucket. And Dree is just going to have to do his best to be a good big brother. And if you guys aren't here for the roleplay, I don't know why you're here. But in the spirit of taking good care of our brand new, absolutely adorable Grookey, I thought we'd go ahead and we would actually, and let's swap out so that we don't like KO Grookey. Okay, let's go ahead and swap. I thought we'd go ahead and catch a pseudo wood. Because what better place to put a rambunctious baby monkey than up inside of a, a pseudo woods branches? Also, what is that guy? I don't know who he is, but he looks like he's gonna mess with me. All right, come here, pseudo wood. One of my favorite Pokemon. We're gonna pick a good pseudo wood as a babysitter for Grookey. Is this the one we want? I mean, we could go ahead and try a quick ball. Let's try it. And if we manage to catch him, all right. Oh, nope. Okay. Uh, we'll see if we can ninja rock tomb. <laughs> that sounds <gasps> really promoting. Whoa, hang in there, Dree. Okay, I think Dree does also want to try to get to level 30 at least before he goes to the battle with Kabu. And, oh, well. Well. Okay, that wasn't going to be Grookey's babysitter. <laughs> Holy levels, Grookey! Big Mike just like leveled up so much. I think he's just running around Dree and like dancing and like so freaking excited. He wants to learn the move Razor Leaf. Holy cow. I think he really is just excited to see like his quote unquote big brother Dree do really great battles. So now Big Mike already knows Razor Leaf. <laughs> he's not going to help us in the battle against Kabu, but still. Uh, all right. Well, that didn't catch the pseudo wood we were looking for. But we'll try again. Whoops. Almost. Oh, okay. Something got my foot. <gasps> what the heck is this guy? He looks like the kind of creature that I would want to actually toss uh, like some fruit at. He'd be a perfect. <gasps> I need to catch him and name him Fruit Ninja. I absolutely need to name him Fruit Ninja. What is he? Oh dear. We KO'd him too. Dre, I think that your strength is a little bit higher than you realize. <laughs> oh, look at Big Mike go. He's gonna like end up evolving at this point. <laughs> All right, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my freaking gosh, that's terrifying to have that thing chase you. I just want a pseudo wood to be able to watch after my baby Grookey. All right, let's get over here. Are you gonna be the pseudo wood we need to be able to like take care of our little itty bitty Baby Grookey? Because I think a calm pseudo wood who could just like endure. Come on. Come on. Oh, we were so close. I think that she's considering it. She used Mimic, but it failed. All right. Maybe we can go ahead and just do a Sucker Punch? If we do Water Gun, is that going to be too strong too? All right, let's try a little bit of a water gun because we do want to try to like, ouch, ouch, sorry, I got too excited. We do want to try to convince her Suda would use block. 
Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we can no longer escape. So I think she does want to come join us. <laughs> All right, I'm going to interpret that as she does want to end up joining us and uh, partaking and helping to watch after this baby Grookey. Because a calm pseudo wood who stands as strong as stone, but is also related to plants. Yes! Sounds absolutely perfect to be a babysitter for a rambunctious, like, leaf type monkey, doesn't it? So I think that's why we're gonna go ahead and catch her pseudo wood. And she could actually also be a great perch, just like in our Pokemon Moon Let's Play for our flying type Pokemon. We had a pseudo wood who loved flying type Pokemon and would let them rest in her branches or his branches. And then Big Mike will have somebody who's not too delicate for his rash nature and will be able to stand up to all of his like excitement. Big Mike, you're not supposed to grow up yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, Big Mike, you're a baby. You're gonna stay, we're gonna keep him a baby for a little bit because he literally just got here. He's trying to rush through growing up way too quick. All right, the imitation Pokemon, a rock type, that actually would be a really good Pokemon to have in the gym with us for fighting against the fire gym that we're about to do. If a tree branch shakes when there's no wind, it's a pseudo wood. Uh, pseudo wood not a tree. It hides from the rain. Hmm. I like her. I like her a lot. And she's gonna watch over... Should we name her like Willow? Let me think. There's Willow, um, there's Oaks. I was gonna name the boy Professor Oak if we caught him. There's Magnolia trees. I think Willows are good because I know there's a lot of beautiful books about Willows written in England. So I think that works. And now Grookey can have a babysitter. Yay! All right, let's go ahead and see what Willow's like. Willow, your summary. And you're rock type, so we might be able to do some work with you. Sturdy. It cannot be knocked out with one hit. One hit KO moves cannot knock it out either. So she's perfect for a babysitter. She's got everything that we possibly need. And she even has tearful look. <laughs> oh my gosh. She has mimic. The user copies uh, the target's last move. The move can only be used during a battle until the Pokemon is switched out. Block to prevent escape. Rock tomb. Wow! Okay, she's got a lot of great abilities. I love Block, too, because that just makes me think that, like, <laughs> she can prevent, uh, oh, and prevent escape? <gasps> That's perfect! That way, not only is that a great nanny slash babysitting Pokemon move, but that would be perfect for some of the rarer Pokemon that I want to catch who might be kind of skittish. Good to know, good to know. She's also relaxed, but she likes to thrash about. So she's probably very chill, but she doesn't mind the activity of a, a rambunctious baby like Big Mike. And Big Mike, you're gonna stay a baby for a little while. It's very exciting to go ahead and have you. And I just, I wanna take some time. You guys know I like to evolve my Pokemon, not just because they hit some arbitrary level most of the time. There we go. We're gonna give him an Everstone for now. But I like to evolve my Pokemon when it feels ready for their sake, their part in the story. So that's fantastic. And I will say Big Mike is leveling up like nobody's freaking business. All right, well, this has been a successful camping trip. New babysitter. And I kind of feel like we should do a little bit more battling. Help, help, what is this thing? That is terrifying. Like, Dree, get him, get him, Dree. I don't know what he is, but he's really scary. A swock. Dree, he's really scary. Maybe he wants to, oh, maybe he wants to train Dree. Maybe he's seen like Dree wants a, a mentor, doesn't he? He looks like a human more than a Pokemon, but maybe he wants to come and be like, oh, he does. He wants to be like the master to come and train Dree. <laughs> All right, well, that'll work. Big Mike, for crying out loud, as a treated Pokemon, you are just going bedonkers on those skills. And now, see, I don't think you should have evolved because you want to learn the move Screech. Harshly lowers the target's defense stat. I mean, I think that Big Mike's a handful for sure. He doesn't, he doesn't need to level up just yet. He still acts like a baby if he's screeching at everybody's faces. All right, who's this guy? Swock. He only comes in male form. Uh, he's almost as tall as me, the karate Pokemon. If you see a swalk training in the mountains, it's in single-minded pursuit of strength. It's best to qu pass by quietly. 
<laughs> we'll go ahead. We're gonna give this guy the name. We're gonna name him Master. He's like, I'm the master. And you're like, of what? And he's like, I don't know. I'm still training. All right, let's go ahead. All right, master, let's look at your summary. He scared the living daylights out of me. He's a black belt. Held item black belt. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This belt helps the wearer to focus and boost the power of fighting type moves. What? He has really high attack. He's sturdy and can't be knocked out in one hit. He's just everything fighting. He knows double kick, quick guard, low low sweep, and bulk up. So basically he's brave but likes to take naps. And he has- what is that? How does he have- what the heck? What was that- that ribbon? Like, wait, what? What does that ribbon mean? I have to understand what that ribbon means because that seems amazing. Um, should I add him to the party for now? I mean, I guess I will. I'll go ahead and add Master to the party. We'll swap him out with Dubberry for now. Um, because I feel like Master is like, no, you don't understand. I need to train you, young one. So I think he's actually here to try to like give Dree advice on how to battle and how to level up, which I think is amazing. And that also is reflective of the fact that we do need to start building a proper team to be able to take on the fire areas. So I'm thinking we might go try to understand more of Dree's powers by going going back to the wilds. So I think that's what we're going to do. He wants to get in touch with his water abilities. We haven't really explored the wilds very much uh, just yet. He had Giant Seat, South Lake, North Lake. Yeah, we have, we've hardly even looked at any of these places. So I think that we definitely should go ahead and we'll spend some time exploring the wilds while Dree works on building up his powers. And we might have to go ahead and try to pick some good Pokemon. I want to keep Big Mike with us for a little while because he's just so cute. <laughs> and Willow should maybe stay with to like watch over him. But we might swap Rook out. I've actually been thinking Arrow might be really cool. So go ahead and... I wonder if Arrow evolves our Arrow Kuda. We might bring Arrow with us. I mean, that's a good water type. Also, Ama! I was thinking Ama might be a really great Pokemon to bring to Kabu's gym. Because Ama has those really powerful moves like Ancient Power and Recover. Uh, and I think that'd be really fun to be able to like figure out her abilities. So, huh. And the Lantern's really good. We've also got Li uh, Lily Leaf, but it turns out Lily Leaf doesn't want to go up much higher in level because she doesn't want to evolve. <laughs> we have Time Pool, uh, who... It, we actually hatched from an egg. And you know what? We might... We'll do a surprise trade with our time pool next time, too. Yeah, we've got so much going on. I love this. I love all of the, the family members. We haven't even had Jen out for ages. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we need to go on a little adventure into the wilds. And we might take Arrow with us. And we'll just train Dree up. And we'll see, we'll see how things go. I'm pretty excited about this. All right, Rook. Let's go ahead... We'll bring Arrow with us, because I think the Arrow has the fighting spirit that Dre is trying to figure out. And I don't think the Lantern would want to battle, but I think it would be fun to try to bring Ama. She has some special abilities, and I think that she really likes studying the different waters and searching for fossils in unexpected places. Oh, well, we've got a good team, and we've got some great stories going. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our fantastic Pokemon and for Big Mike. Chips will be so tickled to know you guys like him. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.